<laughs> Hi there. Um, this is a quick demonstration of the C Trader risk and reward charting tool. This is the free version I'm going to demonstrate, which is um, doesn't include all the features that are added to the full paid version, but it's enough to actually allow you to plan your trades for your re re sorry, risk and reward. I'll go straight into it and show you it. So I'm just going to bring up the C bot by double clicking on the tap on the uh, space bar. I'm going to type in risk and you've got one here called, where did it go? I have to scroll down a bit. Oh, there it is, the free risk reward tool. Okay, so I click on that. I can decide where I want it to go. I'm going to put it top right. And then I need to press the button down here to actually start the CBOT. So you see a little panel come up on the right hand side there. Um, just before I continue, there are other videos that explain the full paid version. So if you want more of an in-depth understanding of the tool, then you can watch those. But I'm just going to go through and show you some of the features with this free version that we're uh, giving out now. So the first thing you want to do is go to your settings with this little button here saying settings. On the settings window, you can see there's a lot of areas that are grayed out. That's because they are in the paid version. So if you're using the free version, you can actually just set a, fix, a fixed cash, cash risk. So if I only want to risk 50 pounds, you just put it in there. You can change your currency symbol here. So if you're using dollars, you just put dollars in here or whichever currency you're using, euros. Um, so I'm going to leave it at pounds. Um, you can say what commission is, how much commission for this actual symbol. So your broker will tell you what the commission is. And on our website, that will tell you how to get the commission. Um, you can preset your stop loss and take profit and you can set your zone opacities. Now I'll go into that in the details in a minute. I'll just save this. So to actually open up a long risk reward charting tool, you just click on this arrow here, the blue one, sorry, the green one. Then you can drag your uh, bar to set your reward, which I'm going to set it about here. And then I'm going to set my risk just below this amount here. So this is not a bad setup. You have a look. You've got a lot of um, resistance um, at the top there. So you've got all this where it hit the uh, this kind of level here and then come back down. So it would be a good idea to stick it somewhere around here for your reward or probably a bit less actually because um, so this is your some idea. So your risk also you can place that in the most perfect spot for resistance or below um, heavy areas where uh, the price might bounce. So what we're going to do now is just look at the values that you've got on here. So at the top here, you've got the position size 15 K. Now what this tool has actually done, it's actually pre calculated your position size based on um, how much you're willing to risk on this trade. So if I go back to the settings window, I typed in here that I'm willing to risk 50 pounds on this trade. So I've set up the trade now so that um, I'm willing to risk 60 pounds. And what that's done, that's automatically adjusted the position size based on this. So what it's telling me is um, if I put a position size of 16K volume here, um, the risk and reward ratio is 2 to 2.1. Um, it's showing you it's 68 pips away. So you'll gain 68 pips. It's 10.36% um, profit you're going to make out of it, which is 109 pounds. Okay, so that brings your total to 1053. And all these values are up here at the top here. Down here, if for any reason that you were to lose this trade, um, it would have to drop 30 pips. That's a loss of 5.4%. And it loses 48 pounds, which is close to 50 pounds. It's never full on accurate, but if you can adjust this, um, you can see it goes a bit more accurate the further you put it away. Um, it keeps readjusting the position size. So accuracy is almost, I think we say it's a risk accuracy between 90 and 100 percent. So now what you need to do, I'll just close this. Um, for the actual free version, this will allow you to set up the trade. Now all you need to do is open the position. Now if you have to do this manually. So if I create new order. So if I want to open up a market order, I can set the volume to 16K. Uh, and I have to put zero, zero, zero. And why is it not doing that? A market order volume of 16,000. Sorry, going mad here. Okay, 16K, 16,000. So I'm just going to set the stop loss and take profit. Now you can put the price in there um, so it automatically goes, but you can just do this. It's place the order and then you can actually just grab the take profit. And if you have a look there, it's got a um, profit of 117 pounds. So if I drag this all the way up to the line, uh, it's close to there. It's 109. Yeah, the profit's 110 pounds. Sorry, it's a, the reason it's um, changing. These values are changing is because the actual um, price of the symbol is changing. It's auto updating the values in real time. So as the price changes, it auto updates. In the paid version, you can switch that off. You've got an option. 
So it's got pretty much the same take profit, 69.7 pips. It's got the same um, take profit, sorry, the values you'll make or roughly there. It's slightly out. I think I have to keep adjusting this. And again, if you drag the stop loss down um, to there, you can actually set it. Um, a risk now is 49 pounds. So you've set up the risk. So you've automatically pre-calculated on the fly um, the position size for this trade with the take profit and the stop loss and a perfect setup. So you're only going to risk 50 pounds if you want to run this. It's a very useful tool. So if I close this one now and if I open up a new order and I do a, a limit order, a limit buy order, 16K, if I place the order, again, you can you can set um, pending orders. So if I drag this up here, um, 111.06, so 70 pips, so it's roughly accurate. If I drag this one down, okay. So again, it's just risking somewhere near there. Because this is the free version, <clears throat> it's almost accurate, but it's not 100% there. If you're using the paid version, you've actually got buttons on the control panel to the right, and you can actually click on the button, it'll automatically um, open a position in exactly the right spot. So if you were doing fast sort of trade um, setups, then the paid version is definitely worth it. And at the same time, with the paid version, as you readjust the um, stop loss or your value here, it auto automatically updates the risk and reward charting tool. So at the bottom of the video, I'll put a link for the free version. I'll also put a link for the paid version just to show you what it can do. So uh, again, the paid version allows you to actually have a lot more um, interaction with the actual risk and reward tool with your trades, your actual trades that you enter. For the free version, it allows you to place the trades based on your risk and reward that you're doing on there. <clears throat> okay, some of the other things you can do on there is you can just hide um, those values there. You can actually also drag this wider to see it more wider. And again, you can, if I drag this out of the way, <clears throat> you can actually adjust, readjust this anytime you want on here. So you've got full control to adjust any of that. Now, if I go back to settings, what I wanted to show you actually before I do do that, uh, I just show you that you can also do a short at the same time. So you can set up a short trade and a long trade both at the same time on the same chart. There are some limitations. And that is that you can only have one short on one long trade uh, risk and reward charting tool on any individual chart. Uh, if you want to do it for the same symbol and you want additional ones, you have to just create new charts. OK, if I go to settings. <clears throat> Now in here, you can actually change the colors of the graded areas there, depending on your theme that you're using. So you can set the opacity. So pretty straightforward. I can set that to 80. I can change the color to, I don't know, blue, save that. And, and then I need to close the tool and reopen the tool again um, to go into there. So your opacity means how much you can see in the background. You can have it full shaded or, or less, but you can actually change the colors of the values there. If you do find any bugs, just click on there. It will open up our website and actually take you to the bug report web page if you do find anything wrong with the tool. Um, and then you can minimize or maximize it. Now, <clears throat> again, because this is a free version, it is kind of limited. Um, we do have the documentation and uh, a user guide for the paid version. So we'll provide you with information that you can just go and look at that and see what you can do. OK, that's it. Thank you very much for your time. Oh, before I disappear, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Cheers.